Yo, it's Go, and welcome to the video. I have a couple of tips on when to use our two biggest cooldowns, Force of Nature, or our Treants, and Starfall, for your progression through Trial of the Grand Crusader. So starting with the first boss, Northern Beasts. This is for 25 man, by the way. I've only got 10 man footage, so sorry. But for the first boss, Gormok of the Northern Beast, I would hold off using your Trinkets, but you can Starfall at the very start of it. Starfall, you should have at least once per phase of the fight. But Treants, when you're parsing, you can throw them out right at the start. But for progression, I would hold them until phase two, which is when Lust is going to go out and you guys are trying to burn down both of the big worms. So back during the PTR, I had made a little note of how long each phase of each boss took for 25 men. And the first phase took a minute and 40 seconds. So depending on the speed that your guild is going, if it's a bit faster if you guys are more geared maybe only use one starfall hold that second one for when you get to phase two if you're a little bit slower killing that first boss then you could get to starfalls in the first phase another thing to note for the first phase of starfall is not going to be hitting the little snowballs that go on people's backs so you don't really have to try to maximize your starfall with taking out the ads so once both the worms come out is when most guilds are going to use Lust, so that's when you can pop your Treants. Starfall should be off cooldown, or shortly coming off cooldown. And just check with the boss's health. If they're going underground and burrowing, submerging, then you'll probably be able to get at least two Starfalls during this phase. After the worms come down, the last boss comes out, and about 45 seconds after the boss comes out, that first massive crash comes out, so if you want to time Starfall for that, to parse you can but it's kind of hard to get in range if he charges across the room for starfall to even hit him so maybe don't use glyph of focus for this fight but even still you're not going to get a full starfall use with the damage bonus after the boss crashes into the wall anyways so getting more starfalls during this burn phase the better i think so just pop it at the start if you can if you've only got like 15 seconds until the the charge and starfalls coming off cooldown sure wait but i think the more starfalls you get out the better instead of trying to maximize one or two of them and that's it for the first boss let's head on to the second boss second boss is jaraxxus he's got some portals that he spawns some uh, volcanoes that he spawns as well so we're not going to pop Starfall until those come out, but you can pop your Treants right at the start of the fight, since Lust will probably go out right on the pool. If Lust is being held until that first portal spawn, then hold off Treants until the portal. But it's a, a nice like one minute timer anyways between when the portal spawns and Volcano spawns, so if you're holding that Starfall, burning the ads of the portal down, It'll time up nicely for when the volcano spawns. And then every minute you have it back available. Third boss is the faction champions. And 10 man, we just AoE'd everything down. I've heard strats in 25 that you can AoE everything. That'd be brilliant. But either way, most groups are going to uh, lust or harrow right on the pool. So pop your treants. But Starfall is going to be a tricky one. Because if they're CC going out, Starfall is going to break the sheeps, the fears blinds so starfall can be kind of tricky hopefully some guilds are double gripping mobs away from the pack so maybe you could starfall that mob i mean this one's just going to vary so much guild to guild good luck for the twins and 10 men we used the door strat and that was pretty much it but in 25 we didn't we had the two mobs like kind of at one of the orbs but this one i think we still popped lust pretty early and since we weren't really gaining any of the orbs while we were in the door not much use to hold off any cooldowns so you could just pop them right at the start if mobs are stacked which is perfect for starfall but no real great time to hold these if you're doing the door strat and even if you're not doing the door strat and you're in the middle of the map holding until you get that damage buff could take a while so i would still just pop them both immediately and then Hope that once I get the damage buff from absorbing the orbs flying around, that star falls off cooldown and I can use it with the buff. And I think in this we just didn't pop Lust because we were holding it for a noob since they weren't resetting on the PTR. And for a noob, you can hold your treants until the last burn phase. And even Starfall, I was holding off until the little adds were in position, then helping burn those adds with Starfall. In this example, I I didn't. This uh, this might have been my first a noob pull. 
But right now that the burrowers are near the boss, once they're on the ice, that's when I would prefer to Starfall for progression. And then once these burrowers are down, the next set of burrowers will come out like a minute after. It works out really nice to pop Starfall every minute for each new set of ads. And then after the submerge phase, when a noob comes back up, the Starfall should be held again until that next set of ads comes out. And then hopefully you get this boss down. So there wasn't too much to go over, but I thought that they were important enough to make a short little video on how you can utilize our cooldowns to help take care of the mechanics of each fight rather than trying to just parse. The least amount of wipes you have the first couple weeks, the better. I'm not going to be trying to parse for the first couple weeks, but when I start to try, I will have some videos rolling out because I'm sure the strategy to parse for these bosses will be different than the progression strategies. So again, good luck in Trial of the Grand Crusader and I'll see you in phase three.